Number 69, identify the type of crystalline solid, whether it's going to be a metallic, network covalent, ionic, or molecular crystalline solid that's formed by each of the following substances. And then we have this huge blob, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. Now, if we just group the elements together, I have one carbon, two carbons, three carbons, and four carbons. So this would be, can I do it like that? Eh, I guess I'll just say C4. And now let's just add up those hydrogens. I have three hydrogens here, two more hydrogens, so that's five, two more hydrogens, so that's seven, plus another three, so that's 10. So whether you say it as this mess or C4H10, it's the same thing. So what is C4H10? What type of crystalline solid will it form when it solidifies? Well, I wrote down here like a little cheat sheet to help you guys out with memorizing the four different solids. Um, and you could use it for your test or quiz coming up if it's on this material. But let's work from left to right to figure out what type of crystalline solid this is. Is it a metallic crystalline solid? Well, the word metal is in the word metallic. So in order to be a metallic crystalline solid, you have to just have a single metal. But if I look on the periodic table, carbon is a nonmetal, and hydrogen, even though it's in group one, it's also another nonmetal. So I have no metals here. So it can't possibly be a metallic crystalline solid. Let's move on. Is it an ionic crystalline solid? Well, ionic crystalline solids come from ionic compounds. All the way back in the day, we learned that, you know, ionic compounds are metal plus a nonmetal, or if you start seeing polyatomic ions. But I don't have a metal, and C8, uh, C4H10, there's no polyatomics in there. So it can't possibly be ionic. Molecular is next. Now, molecular crystalline solid comes from a molecule, and we use the word molecule when we're describing covalent compounds. And covalent compounds are the ones that are all nonmetals. And I got a nonmetal and a nonmetal. Those are all nonmetals. So this is probably going to be a molecular crystalline solid. But let's just make sure that it's not a network covalent. Network covalent. Uh, just means that you will see a single nonmetal, not a group of them. So whether you would, you might have seen it as just a carbon, that would be a uh, network covalent crystalline solid. But since I have four carbons and ten hydrogens, it can't possibly be the network. This has got to be the molecular, the molecular crystalline solid. Let's box our answer off. Oh. And call it a video. Love it. What'd you think? Okay. So, easy peasy. Thank you for uh, viewing the video. I hope this helped you out. Good luck on your future tests and quizzes. I'm rooting for you guys. And thank you for being part of this community. You guys rock. I'm so proud of all the hard work that you guys are doing. That's how you get better. You always got to keep learning. All right. So that's where we're here to help you out. Thank you so much and have an awesome day. Bye-bye.